Alrighty, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, today uh, we want to care about the multiplayer setup. So in the last video we took care about the uh, single player setup and the basic installation of Falcon BMS. Today we want to care about multiplayer. Um, so when you want to fly with others uh, through the internet, so this is a quick guide how it's done. So it's uh, pretty easy to do, but you have to take care about some things. But nothing special uh, again. This is quite easy, uh, but you have to understand uh, once how uh, it is uh, yeah, executed, so to say. So first things first, um, uh, if you didn't watch the latest video how to install it, please do it now. The, the link is somewhere in this uh, window here. And um, as you can see, we have already uh, 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 opened the uh, BMS window. And uh, what I want to show you today is first how to set up a server. Uh, so if, for example, if you want to host for multiple guys, uh, 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 then you have to set up as an IBC server, so to say. And of course, a BMS server. Um, if you don't know what IBC is, IBC is basically the uh, software uh, that you can talk uh, uh, with each other in, in the sim. Um, let's start with the server. So I, for my side, have a, a, a dedicated server for Falcon uh, uh, events. So uh, it's uh, connected via remote, Windows remote. And uh, before you, uh, uh, yeah, create a server for IVC and for um, uh, uh, BMS, you have to take care about two things. Oh, actually, it's one thing. So you have to put forward multiple ports uh, um, to make sure that all the information goes through. Uh, first, uh, I just type it in quickly. So you have to uh, to uh, uh, port forward uh, this ports in uh, UDP mode. So this is basically for BMS. And those ports are, uh, come on, for IVC. So those ports have to be forwarded on your server, on your router, whatever. But only the server, again, the server has to, uh, 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 yeah, port forward this. The client don't, don't have to it. So I already port forwarded it in, in, in on the on the server. Um, what I want to do first uh, is open the IVC server. So I created already a, 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 a quick connect to uh, the file which is necessary. But I show you the path how to find it. Um, so again, this is the basic uh, BMS installation. Um, you go to uh, BMS 435, then you go to bin x64 ivc and there you have ivc server.exe so basically this file uh, uh, you have to open so uh, we do that now and that's basically it so you can you can uh, minimize the window so uh, uh, that's pretty much you have to do to create an ivc server pretty easy um, then uh, the next thing is uh, you create or create on the server side uh, a BM BMS session, so to say. So you open the the, uh, the, the uh, window. So I'll just close this debug window for now. And uh, what you uh, do first is uh, go to comms. Uh, how to set up a server for BMS side? So obviously uh, because uh, your machine. Uh, uh, needs to be uh, the, uh, uh, yeah a local server so to say these are the informations uh, that you have to type in for your system so let's go through the line so you can obviously create a name whatever preset you like but uh, uh, I just uh, took the default one this IP address is uh, necessary to type in so it's a four times zero that's always the same in terms of the bandwidth, it's a little bit uh, different, so it depends on how fast your connection is. So, for example, 
if you have a 10 or 100 megabyte uh, connection uh, download you always take 70 percent of it or let's yeah 70 percent and uh, uh, type it in here so for example if we had uh, 100 a megabyte and uh, you can use 70 megabyte as max so you should type in 70,000 so 70,000 kilobytes that should be 70 megabytes uh, if I am not wrong uh, the same goes for upload and download uh, upload uh, speed so if you have uh, for example also 100 megabyte upload then you do the same thing 70 percent of the uh, maximum range and type in 70,000 so that's it then you create uh, th that's uh, for this BMS server site then you have to create also a, a IVC server address um, you can uh, uh, use this one default one that's always the same one two seven decimal zero decimal zero decimal one uh, again I, I also uh, make screenshots of, of all of this so you can download it later in the description and uh, so I just want to change it to my server settings back because I have a little bit better connection. So I have uh, one gig up and one gig down. Uh, so it's basically uh, this way. Click on save and then I click connect. Okay, there was uh, the information connection established. Okay. Um, Basically, you can ignore this stuff. So IVC client opens also for the server. It's not necessary necessary normally. Uh, uh, but uh, if you fly, uh, if you are the server host and you fly too, then this Windows automatically pops up, which is good. Uh, but uh, I come to that later when we are going to the client side. Okay, um, first, when you uh, uh, so want to fly a mission, for example, let's say we fly a tactical engagement today with your friends or our friends. So you created a mission or use the default ones which are here. And let's say we do uh, survival mode and uh, use uh, US site, for example. Or let's say we use, uh, uh, yeah, we use F uh, US site. So first thing is the server always has to be in the 2d map first so you 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 have to wait uh, as a client till the server is in 2d that's uh, very important so so the server uh, uh, is in 2d now um, normally it's also uh, necessary to before you join a mission uh, when you created a mission that uh, the server gets uh, a seat in one of those flights, uh, but uh, uh, I come to that later when uh, when uh, we are talking about the tactical engagement in another video. Today we just want to show you how to, so to say, connect in uh, with a client and server side. Um, okay, that's good for now. That's the server side, so everything is done. Let's switch to the client side. So. This is uh, back my private PC here at home, and uh, we open BMS there. And just one second, okay. Then now uh, we have comms. I already created a, 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 um, a preset um, with the name, the IP address to the server. So the again, the server has the address 5.9 or decimal four five decimal two five. You see it there. So that's the uh, is, uh, yeah server address. Then same procedure. I type in my private uh, uh, bandwidth settings, uh, seventy percent of my uh, connection speed for up and download each, and also type in the same IVC address like uh, the uh, IP address for BMS. So that's basically the setup. Again, I I, I uh, make screenshots of of this so you can. Uh, uh, yeah, try it for your own. And then I click on connect. Oh, okay, connection established, that worked out. Um, okay, because the server is in TE or technical engagement, I have to go to TE2. And, and because I want to join the online session of the server now, I have to click on online. And there you see FE servers game. So that's the name of the server. And that's basically it. So I have to make sure that I choose the right nation. 
and then I click on commit. So you can ignore this stuff for now because it's not that important. Uh, 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 but uh, uh, yeah, uh, you can uh, read through the documentation which all this stuff is. It's uh, not uh, that important for now. So you, you receive some data, uh, some stuff, and now you are on the same site and page like the server. So um, you can select your flight, your seat, what you want to have. So uh, let's uh, take this one for now. And normally now is a uh, time uh, to to uh, uh, to do the briefing and uh, the IVC check. So you see here right now in the chat, uh, there are two two uh, clients, so to say, on the server. That's the server itself on my site, uh, uh, myself. And if you check the server side of things, you see basically the same. So you see the server as host and I joined as a client. Um, when you want to do uh, a mission, so you d did your briefings, your uh, checks, whatever, and of course your IVC checks. Uh, uh, so it's always good to check that you uh, guys hear each other uh, 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 in terms of uh, uh, communication, so to make sure IVC is working. There is uh, uh, will, will be another uh, video about IVC uh, soon, but uh, for now that's okay. Um, so when you're ready to go in 3D, again the server has to be first in 3D. That means basically uh, uh, I select the seat that the server is uh, uh, planned for, and then I click on takeoff. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this works. So the server goes in 3D. And uh, when the server is in 3D, which is now, I see, so the server is committed now. I'm back on the client side. And then now I can, uh, so to say, uh, go in uh, uh, 3D. So so the, the clock is running. Uh, that means uh, normally when you when your takeoff time uh, is fracked. Uh, it should be more or less uh, 20 to 22 minutes before takeoff time. So your client goes in 3D when it's 20 minutes before takeoff time. So the clock runs now down, and basically uh, that's it. So that's uh, easy and uh, hopefully interesting uh, how to set up uh, BMS as a multiplayer. Um, yeah, if you have any questions. Go to the BMS forum or write it down in the comments and uh, see ya.